Oh, look at that. Mm. Hello, Dr. Joe here of the drjoe.com and the 2020from.com. Now, if you're somebody who loves oatmeal, you're going to love this. I've got a very special present for you here. And uh, it is what we call the baked oatmeal. Uh, it is very versatile. It is something uh, that you can have for breakfast, you can have for lunch, you can have for dinner. You can take it on a journey with you in a car, eat it in the car. You can take it on a picnic with you, have it on a picnic. Uh, and you can take it to work with you as well and have it at work. The possibilities are endless. And the beauty of it is that, uh, well, it's very simple to prepare, as you're going to see shortly. And uh, guess what? It is very tasty. I promise you that. So uh, you need to give it a good try and uh, you see how it turns out. Uh, and like I said, I've kept it very simple. So uh, what do we need? What ingredients do we need? Well, this is all we need. Uh, it looks a little bit daunting at first, but just relax. Uh, it's not that bad. So uh, I've separated the ingredients when I'm doing baking. Uh, I've got to have dry ingredients and then wet ingredients. So on the dry side, uh, we've got here rolled oats, okay? These are uh, three cup uh, fulls of uh, rolled oats. And uh, so that's ingredient number one. And then of course, we have cacao nibs. Uh, they're gonna add that little edge uh, that I love. So cacao nibs, uh, these are, I'm gonna use about um, four to five uh, tablespoonful of uh, cacao nibs. Love them. Uh, next, uh, we have on the dry side, ground flaxseed okay ground flaxseed we're gonna have about five tablespoonful of uh, flaxseed next on the dry side we've got baking powder okay baking powder we're gonna need two tablespoonful of the baking powder and the uh, next thing on the dry side is we've got some nuts here i like to add nuts to this to give it a little bit of uh, kind of a little edge as well and uh, that little crunch okay so got some nuts here these are mixed nuts by the way uh, so I got that we're gonna have about three to four handfuls of the nuts next this is one beauty of ingredient that you have to have uh, these are tart uh, Montmorency cherries the dried ones I love them uh, they're gonna add that little edge of sweetness uh, that gives it uh, an extra touch on the bite, okay? Uh, because they explode, you know, once you bite on them. Montmorency cherries. Uh, we're gonna have about two to three handfuls of those. So that's on the dry side. On the wet side, very easy. All we got here, uh, we got seven bananas, okay? These are ripe bananas, seven bananas. And uh, what else? We're gonna use almond milk. Uh, about uh, half a cup to three quarter cup full of almond milk so um, that's that's all we need so uh, let's get started oh by the way uh, you can do this manually but I'm gonna be using the food processor okay so I'm gonna put the dry ingredients into the food processor first of all so uh, let's uh, put the wet ingredients aside first because we don't need them now so the rolled oats uh, they're going into the food processor okay we'll just pour that in So those are the oats gone in there. I'm gonna add the flax seeds, so uh, five tablespoonful of flax seed. Flax seeds gone in. Next, we're gonna have the uh, cacao nibs added. So these are cacao nibs, uh, lovely, lovely ingredients. So cacao nibs gone in. Next, we add the uh, baking powder, okay? Okay, so baking powder is gone in. So uh, I don't add the nuts and the Montmorency cherries just yet, uh, because what we're gonna do now, you can just manually mix this together, the dry ingredients together, but I'm gonna use a food processor. Okay, so and all you're just going to do is uh, just pulse it. So just get a mixture. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so dry ingredients there. So what we're going to do is pour, pour the dry ingredients into our bowl here.
Okay, so dry ingredients in there. Next, we're gonna do now is the wet ingredients, okay? So these are the bananas. I just split them up to make it easy for, you can manually do this, by the way, uh, but let's make the food processor do some work. So we've got seven bananas in there. Next, we're gonna add the milk. We're gonna add the milk. So like I said, we're using almond milk. So you need about half a cup to three quarters of a cup. Um, so I've got three quarters full here, okay? Pour it into the food processor. And the next thing is uh, to turn the wet ingredient into a proper wet ingredient. Okay, so uh, this one now, we need to uh, really blend this. Okay, so we are, we should be ready now. This is our wet ingredient. So all we got here is just banana and the milk. Uh, you could call this, call this uh, nice cream really because it tastes really good. Uh, but before we add the wet ingredient to the uh, dry ingredients, uh, let's just add our nuts, okay? So we just add our nuts. We didn't want to pulse the nuts with the uh, with the dry ingredients because it's not really necessary. So you can add as much or as little nuts as you prefer. Uh, there's no standard. Uh, next, we add the Montmorency cherries, okay? Uh, just scoop a nice handful there. They're lovely. Really, really lovely. Okay, so got about two handfuls. Just add another half or so. Okay, so that's nice. Um, they give very nice popping sensation when you're eating this stuff. Mix it together. And then time now to add the wet ingredients. So we just pour that in. Add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. And then here is where there's a little bit of hard work involved. You just need to mix them. Okay, mix them together. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. So all we just need to do now is add our butter. Okay, just pour the butter into a baking tray. Uh, and I've got one here lined up, lined with uh, parchment paper. This is all we do. We just pour the, uh, the butter into the baking tray. Okay. Lovely. Look at that. Okay. This will now go into the oven and uh, we just stick it in the oven for uh, about 30 minutes at 160 degrees centigrade. Okay. Lovely. Okay. So into the oven it goes. Goes into the oven. 160 degrees for uh, centigrade for about 25 to 30 minutes and that's all you need to do so welcome back so, here we are this is three hours later why is that well it's because as soon as the cake was ready it was time for me to attend a fetal maternal medicine webinar which lasted two and a half hours uh, but that's okay because it means uh, it's allowed the cake enough time to uh, cool down so here it is okay it is ready and uh, it also means I'm even more hungry. But before we dive in, let me just say something very quickly. Uh, it's about how to sweeten this cake. For me, I rely on these Montmorency cherries, and uh, which you can get from Costco, by the way, okay? Uh, they, they're available in Costco. Um, I rely on them and the bananas to give me the sweetness that I need. On that basis, I don't need any 
sweeteners like honey sugar maple syrup any of those okay i don't need any of them not even the healthy sweeteners they're not really needed here but if you want to add them that's up to you okay if you think the sweetness you're going to get from the montmorency cherries and the bananas is not enough and by the way the bananas should be really really ripe okay so let them really ripen that way you get that real sweetness natural sweetness from the bananas and the montmorency cherries so what if you cannot find montmorency cherries where you are well use raisins okay you can use raisins okay they they, they provide a very good substitute for uh, the cherries so you can use raisins let's pull it out of the baking tray okay so take that aside so you can see me properly i hope you can um so here it is okay live okay so next we just gonna cut some slices oh yeah i love this this is the best bit this is the best bit okay so Get a nice chunk there. Oh, this is lovely. Look at that. Awesome. You can have it on its own, okay? Just like this. Oh, I can't wait. Look at that. Look at that. Um, mm -mm. This is great. I love it. So what do I think? Well, the baked oatmeal is uh, sweet, it is moist. And when you bite into those uh, Montmorency cherries, you get this explosion of sweetness that hits your palate and it's just really awesome. And you remember the cacao nibs? Well, they're supposed to be bitter on their own, but in this cake, in this texture, uh, they're no longer bitter, if anything, uh, they're just that sort of sweetness uh, that you get from uh, the cacao nibs. So it's really nice and you have it with a nice cup of tea, okay? Yeah, I've got my hibiscus tea here, which you can have with the cake. Next uh, is another thing you can do is um, just add some yogurt. Go ahead and have a nice bite. This is just pure heaven. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Ah. Uh, Mm, 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 mm. one little word about storage this cake has a fairly long shelf life you can have it in the house for days uh, but what you must do though after 24 hours make sure you wrap it up and keep it in the refrigerator once you leave it there in the refrigerator wrapped up you'll be fine okay and uh, every now and again bring it out have a slice and just get on with your life so uh, i just thought you needed to know that uh, as far as storage is concerned and the, the shelf life so there we go like i said you can have it with a cup of tea you can have it with a smoothie you can have it with just water it doesn't really matter nice baked oatmeal have it for breakfast have it for lunch have it for dinner take it anywhere with you and you can be guaranteed eating pleasure okay and it's healthy okay to top it off it is healthy so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please give the video a thumbs up please like the video and also please share this video with your friends family and colleagues i'm sure they will want to have a taste of this um, uh, if you got any questions any comments leave them down below uh, i think that's about it until next time well this is dr joe signing out let me have some more